Welcome to the wood shop. Today we're going to explore what happens when wood gets wet. First, let's think about where wood comes from. Trees. Trees are plants and like all living things, they like to have water to be growing and healthy. And that means that when we first cut the wood, it has a lot of water in it and we need it to be dry to be able to work with it. So it dries out over time like the samples you have. Um, and that's how it is. So when we get it wet again, what will happen? First, let's take some measurements of what it looks like right now. First, we're going to trace our piece of wood so we can see what size it is right now. That way, we'll be able to compare the size later after it gets wet. Make sure your pencil goes right by the edge so you get exactly the size it is. I'm going to mark where the bark starts because the bark might fall off when it gets wet. And then I can go all the way around. Let's move it and let's write dry. Now we know this is the size our wood was when it was dry. We can also look at its weight. So we have this great scale here and we're gonna measure it, its weight before it gets wet. I'm gonna move this little guy over until we find out if it lines up. Do we think it's more than 10 grams? Oh my. So this piece of wood weighs 20 and a half grams, and we can see right here. Let's write that down so we remember. 20 and a half grams when it's dry. We can also take a picture of it so we don't forget what it looked like. Let's put out our piece of wood, and you can do this with your own camera and your wood. Now we can remember what it looked like and what its color was like. Now let's make some predictions. Let's think about how the weight, the size, and the color might change after we get it wet. Pause and make your predictions now. Did you make your predictions? Great! Now let's do our experiment. Let's get our piece of wood wet and see how it changes. Now let's try adding our sample to some water. I have this bowl of water here, and I've made sure it's in a spot where if it spilled, it would be okay. If you're going to try this yourself, make sure your bowl of water isn't near your iPad. A good spot to do this would actually be inside of a sink or inside of a bathtub, or just on a table or a counter away from your iPad. We don't want to mess up our iPads doing experiments with our wood. Okay, I'm going to take my wood sample and add it to my water. Right away, I can see it's floating. Maybe that's just because it's on the top. Let's push it down. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think is going to happen when I let go? Let's see. It floated right back up. Hmm. That makes me wonder how long it would have to be in water before it would sink. When you try it yourself, you could try using your sawdust, this wood sample, a different wood sample, sticks you find outside, and see if you can make any of them sink, or how long it would take. You can try this yourself. If you're going to try it yourself, pause now and have fun seeing what happens when you add your wood to water. Now that our pieces of wood have been sitting in some water, let's take a moment and take them out and see how they changed. We actually have two pieces. This one we just put in the water, and this one's been sitting in the water for two days. They started out the same size and the same weight when we put them in the water. First, let's dry them off. Just a little bit. That way they won't get our paper wet. Can you weigh this one? Sure. This is the one that just went into the water. Oh, we know already that it weighs more than it did before. Before it weighed 20 and a half grams. Look at this, I bet it. Looks like it weighs exactly 21 and a half grams. Well, maybe just a bit more. Twenty-eight 
20 and a half, 21 and a half? 21.6. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's measure this one. We're going to lay it exactly on top. We'll line it up with our lines. I'm going to line it up starting with that bark line. Really careful. And now I can trace it again. Hey, look, it's just a teeny bit different. I wonder if it will change more for our piece that's been sitting a lot longer. Let's okay. look at that one next. Do you notice anything about the water? Why is it that different color? Well, wood, have, wood has chemicals inside of it. They're safe chemicals, but some of them leach out just like when you make tea at home into the water. Okay, we're gonna dry this one off. Oh, look at the color too. Yeah, you can even see that they're different before we do anything to measure them. Should we see how much this one weighs? Yeah. Wow. So this one weighs 32.6 grams. Wow, that's more than 10 grams more than it started. That's a lot. Okay, let's trace this one now. Let's line it up. Starting at the bark line, line up this one edge the same. Seems like the width is changing more than the height. Whoa, that's a huge difference. Let's mark that this is how much it grew in two days. Why did the wood change shape that much just by getting wet? Well, all the, all the fibers in the wood absorb water and as they wa absorb water, they expand. It's kind of like when you cook spaghetti and it gets a little fatter. Yeah. Here's another thing you could try. I want you to try this one. What if you smell it? Does it smell any different than it okay, did see. when you started? Oh, it smells a lot stronger. Right. It's kind of like when you when we were talking about tea. It's a lot stronger when it gets wet. And if we take back out our pictures, we can even look at what it looked like before we started. We can notice that it started out a lot lighter and it gets darker and darker as it absorbs more water. So we noticed that it changed in weight, it changed in size, and it changed how it looked, it changed its color. Can you look at your wood samples now that you got them wet? Have they changed? Have they changed in weight? Have they changed in size? Have they changed in color? I hope you had fun with us today in the wood shop. We had fun with you exploring how wood changes when it gets wet.